Yo hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video Aspiring designers In this tutorial we are taking our first steps into the world of Zust in Mind Join me for a beginner friendly guide on how to use Zust in Mind in 2024 Ready to turn your design ideas into interactive prototypes? Let's dive in So before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information so guys, first thing to do is to simply head up to Just In Mind, just like that, and click on the first URL, to justinmind.com. After you do so, you have to download this platform or this app of theirs. So simply click on Download Free, and right here you can find that it accepts Mac OS and Windows. So it will detect normally your device, and they will download the most uh, the device that you have. For example, if you have Windows, it will install the Windows version. So now here it is. Now I'm just gonna click on it, and it's gonna be opened, and then we have to install it. So let's install it real quick. It's pretty easy, nothing complicated about it. So here we just have to wait, and there we go. Now let's click. And now it should start to install on our PC, just as you can see in front of us. Now, just in mind, it's a very good tool, guys, and it is a free uh, tool to have, and at the same time, you have to pay for it. So here, let me just click on next, I accept, next, next, and it should start to install. Meanwhile, let's go and see the plans of subscription that they have. They have different kind of subscriptions. They have the free one, they have the standard, the professional, and the enterprise one. It has different prices depending on the features that you would like. It has even some really good features as uh, exporting to HTML, so you can really just turn your designs into a real HTML code and start uh, like making websites, making UI designs, and getting the HTML code of the design that you are making, which was uh, like five years, six years ago, something impossible, especially for designers who are using Photoshop for making uh, like prototypes of websites. Like imagine turning the design into a real interacting app. So this is a very, very good tool to make it happen. Now, as you can see, we just have to open it. So open this in mind and in a few clicks, it is opened and ready to go. So now the difference between or just in mind and Photoshop, um, we can't say that there is not a difference. Each of course has its own, uh, let's go with desktop HD and let's create a new project. As I said, each has its own, uh, like um, what we would call it features and benefits here done. Next, next, and let's keep skipping everything. And this is basically the interface of this uh, platform. So here you can find your design in this area, this white area. And here on the left, you'll find some tools. So here you'll find, for example, we would like to add a button. We simply have to go right here and we can add a button that we can make events using it and doing a lot of things. So let's keep this button right there. Here, for example, I'm going to add an image. So here we go. I'm going to add an image. Let's make it, for example, this size. And basically here, I'm going to add it right there. And yeah, something around that. Now you will ask me that the image is basically empty. How can we fill it with some image, real image? We'll simply just hover on it. And on the right, right here, you will find this add image button. Simply click on it and go and search for any image that you have on your PC. So for example, here I'm going with for example, this picture. All right, I'm going to add it right here temporarily. And here we have this button. We can make it large. We can edit the text that we have in this button. So here on the right, as you can see, let me just type here, for example, by now. And basically now all we need to do is to just make it bigger. So just hover and make sure to go here. 48 and as you can see it is bigger now and you can see it um, let's try to make for example a sign up form so sign up 
All right, here we go. And now, as a sign-up form, we would like to have some inputs. So here on the left, you will find inputs as well. So we can here add inputs number one, and cut it, and input number two, as you can see. And as you can see, this is basically all we need to have. So click on sign up. Let's make it here. And basically here we have this input here we can add an event for example let me just add an event here on this sign up so add events to trigger mouse and let's add on click so on click choose the action navigate to for example set value to elements here we can navigate to so let's go right here and we can go to screen number two so we can have a screen number two okay and here we should have a screen number two where after we click on the sign up button it will take us to it so it is pretty easy guys so here we need to go to screen number two which we have to create as well so let me just click on new um, let's name it screen two and let's just open it right here and it should be opened in a few clicks so there we go Let me just wait here. Let me just have to wait a couple seconds. And we can add here other screens. So here, uh, this is an effect. We can add, for example, fade, um, duration, open a new tab. So there is a lot of things. So let's click here, for example, to play it. We can actually play it if you didn't know about that. So we can click here, sign up, and they are taking us actually to screen number two, as you can see right here. So there is a lot of benefits to actually do so. Now, let me just close that. Um, all right. So let me just go back here. So the first thing are the values of these two. The first thing is to add something in the placeholder. So we need to add a placeholder password. So here uh, we're gonna, for example, low email. And here we have a couple of things that are very necessary. So we need to make the text a little bit bigger. Email password, which are perfect LAN. Uh, here for the value, for example, we need it to be, for example, um, let's say um, hello. And we have filled it with hello. But for us, we need the value to be empty because this has to be our input. So here, there should be some real input. Uh, we can add, for example, add event into it as well to trigger a keyboard and on key up, on key down. And you can literally make a check if the actual variable is correct or not. So on key down, for example, any key. Uh, if you press any button that is not supposed to be in this or any letter that is not supposed to be in this section it will not accept it or even more here you can also find some other tools that can be for example launching or like a mobile version of it and you can do a lot of things using just a mind guys so these are just few details about this application i couldn't discover it all because it is has it has like very variations and features which you can see right here you can add videos, forms, icons, headings, cards, buttons, navigation, header, footers, and a lot of things. So it is up to you to go through it and learn more about it. So thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.